Hello guys, welcome back. Now, the former Ripple's CTO, Chief Technology Officer Jade McCallab has dumped more than 259 million XRPs and 502 million XRPs are still in his wallet. So he has a long way to go. We are going to explain more about this in this video and also we're going to bring you news uh, concerning Dogecoin and the likes. So please do consider sticking around until the end. Now, if you're new also, uh, please do consider subscribing because we'll be bringing you daily crypt, uh, Ripple news updates and XRP price predictions. But totally that will also be bringing you crypto news updates and crypto price analysis. So do feel free to subscribe. Now, since that's out of the way, let's get straight into the news. And the first chief technology officer of Ripple and also the person who founded the company together with Chris Larson back in 2012 has actually sold a whopping 259 million XRP tokens in the past two weeks. Now, of course, this data has been revealed by XRP Scan and uh, uh, Jade McCaleb has also received 442 million XRPs from Ripple Labs on May 1st. Now, of course, as per uh, the XRP Scan, approximately in the last two weeks, um, Jade McCaleb made 15 transactions, moving uh, 259 million XRP coins from his digital wallet called Taco Stand. And uh, he has been moving XRPs in 17.3 million batches. So he has been moving 17.3 million XRP coins uh, daily and in batches. And also 18.5 million XRP coins uh, have been moved in six transactions. And he has also moved two transactions of 13.4 million XRP coins. Of course, every week, um, Jade McCallum sells XRPs from his shrinking stash, dumping a certain amount of XRPs each day. And of course, from April 25th up to May 1st, he was actually selling 18.5 million XRPs daily. But uh, prior to that, uh, the daily amount that uh, uh, Jade McCallum was selling was 22.5 million XRP tokens. Of course, since May 12th until May 8th, Jade McCallum has been selling 17.3 million XRPs. And also starting from May 9th, he actually began to release 13.3 XRP, 13.3 uh, million XRP coins on a daily basis. And uh, therefore, he has been decreasing his daily sales every following week. Now, for, uh, overall, uh, the amount of XRP that has been sold since April 25th totals more than 372 million XRP, uh, million uh, US dollars in value. And uh, that is a lot of money. And um, well, uh, it's safe to say that uh, Jade McCaleb is a rich man. Now the Ripple co-founder still has um, 500 and uh, more than 500 million XRP coins remaining in his wallet. And that is an equivalent of more than 732 million XR, million US dollars, sorry, more than 732 million US dollars. And uh, back on May 1st, Jade McCallum received another 442 million XRP coins from Ripple as part of his compensation from the company for founding it and serving as the first CTO. Now, as reported by uh, us, uh, the uh, blockchain analyst Leonidas Hajilutsu has actually uh, is actually expecting Jade McCallum to run out of his XRPs by late August completely. So we have to wait on that, and um, we will be we will keep uh, giving you updates concerning uh, Jade McCallum's stash and uh, and um, more concerning Jade McCallum definitely. But uh, yeah, moving on to another story. Uh, Dogecoin shows actually an approximately 23% rise as Elon Musk confirms his strong support of crypto and calls for a carbon tax to be implemented. Of course, um, in a recent tweet, uh, Elon Musk has clarified his attitude towards cryptocurrencies and uh, he has done this mainly to dispel any doubts that uh, the community may have about it. And Elon Musk has reminded his army of followers on Twitter that he remains a strong believer in Bitcoin and other cryptos. But of course, he does not want this industry to actually trigger 
a tremendous uh, increase in the use of fossil fuel and coal in particular. And of course, in another tweet, Elon Musk has gone so far as to suggest the implementation of a carbon tax in, 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 in cryptocurrency. And uh, this is actually the second time he has suggested introducing a monetary consequence for businesses for emitting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. But of course, Elon Musk had also went on to explain that um, the Biden administration has rejected his offer. Of course, uh, also, uh, the Tesla CEO had actually announced this week that the company stops accepting Bitcoin for its vehicles due to the CO2 footprint left by Bitcoin miners. And uh, this news had actually sent the price of Bitcoin down to the levels of 47,000. And that was not good news. But uh, all in all, uh, the cryptocurrency realm is actually expecting Elon Musk to actually switch to another cryptocurrency uh, so uh, for buying uh, vehicles in their Tesla website. So yeah, that's what I have collected for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've reached this far, we really appreciate your support. Please. Uh, Dogecoin shows actually an approximately 23% rise as Elon Musk confirms his strong support of crypto and calls for a carbon tax to be implemented. Of course, um, in a recent tweet, uh, Elon Musk has clarified his attitude towards cryptocurrencies and uh, he has done this mainly to dispel any doubts that uh, the community may have about it. And Elon Musk has reminded his army of followers on Twitter that he remains a strong believer in Bitcoin and other cryptos. But of course, he does not want this industry to actually trigger a tremendous uh, increase in the use of fossil fuel and coal in particular, and of course, in another tweet, Elon Musk has gone so far as to suggest the implementation of a carbon tax in, 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 in cryptocurrency. And uh, this is actually the second time he has suggested introducing a monetary consequence for businesses for emitting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. But of course, Elon Musk had also went on to explain that um, the Biden administration has rejected his offer. Of course, uh, also, uh, the Tesla CEO had actually announced this week that the company stops accepting Bitcoin for its vehicles due to the CO2 footprint left by Bitcoin miners. And uh, this news had actually sent the price of Bitcoin down to the levels of 47,000. And that was not good news. But uh, all in all, uh, the cryptocurrency realm is actually expecting Elon Musk to actually switch to another cryptocurrency uh, so uh, for buying uh, vehicles in their Tesla website. So yeah, that's what I have collected for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've reached this far, we really appreciate your support. Please do consider giving us a like because it does also help, help us a lot. And until the next update, thank you very much. Bye-bye.